Here's our climber at the bottom of the rock face. Let's give him a boost to get to the top. In previous versions, we would have had to have first selected him and made a layer out of the selection, then moved him to the top and masked out to blend into the new position, and also removed him using the clone tools and the healing brush from the bottom where he started out. With Elements 12, however, we have the new Content Aware Move tool. It's found in the Modify section of the, of the toolbox, or we can press Q, its keyboard shortcut. To use it, we draw a loose selection around the climber. We don't want to make it too tight because we could end up losing parts of his body when it attempts to blend it in. We get the regular marching ant selection. As with the regular move tool, if we're working with a selection, when we start to move it, it creates a duplicate. We'll move it up to the top and marry it up with the fissures that are already there in the rock. When we let go, it moves him from the previous position up to the top here. It's not bad, but we've got this part here, we've got this section here where part of his body has been replicated. If we go down to the healing slider, we can change this. If we move it to the right, it tightens up the selection. It makes a much sharper edge, but we still have part of his body showing. So we'll move it down to the opposite side on the left. And that's got rid of the arm, but it's also distorted him on his shoulder and his head. So we'll bring it up a notch. Because the tool is random, we can keep moving it until we get the results we're after. And there we go. That's got rid of it. That's not too bad at all. To finish off, all we need to do is go to the Select menu and press Deselect, or we can press Command-D on the Mac or Control-D on the PC. And there we have it. We've moved the climber from the bottom to the top of the rock face in a really short space of time using the magic that is the Content-Aware Move Tool in Elements 12.